Hello everyone! This is Sunny Ogazar from the First Year Experience Program and I am a peer mentor. We actually have an adulting series and under that adulting series we do nailed it recipes. For my recipe I wanted to try batty cupcakes. Let's get into it. As the world grows colder and the nights grow longer I've been in a particular mood for spooky goodies. Bats are good spooky animals, so I decided I wanted to make bat cupcakes. I took to Google for some inspiration and I decided I wanted to create something that looked like these. I thought that that was easy enough. Let's get into our recipe here. So first we have box chocolate cake mix. Doesn't matter which brand, it could be whatever brand, but if you want to follow my recipe completely accurately, I use Betty Crocker. Then we have half a cup of vegetable oil, one and a half cups of water, three eggs, candy eyes, Oreos, vanilla icing, and make sure it is um, white, and I use the whipped kind as well. But we want to make sure it's white because we have our food coloring that we're going to put in there as well. And for the food coloring, you just need the red and blue. Equipment needed. So we have, of course, our bowl to mix the cake in and make it in. Then two six cup cupcake tins, or one 12 cup if you'd like. Cupcake liners, bonus points if you use Halloween ones like I did. A whisk. A spatula for scraping the batter out from your bowl with and into the cupcake tins. A piping bag. Paper plates for putting your prepared Oreos on. Measuring cups and an oven. So here are some substitutes and tips. So first we can use half of a medium banana. Uh, mashed for every whole egg. So in this recipe, you would need one and a half bananas. One that I really like and that's very appropriate for the season is a fourth of a cup of pumpkin puree for every whole egg. So for this recipe, you would use three fourths of a cup. For a healthier alternative, you can swap out the icing for whipped cream for a slightly um, healthier alternative. Raspberries and blueberries make a great natural food coloring alternative. So the raspberries act as the red food coloring and the blueberries act for the blue. Here's some tips now. So to test if the cupcakes are done, gently press down on the cupcake. And I mean gently since they're going to be hot, so be careful. If it bounces back slightly, the cupcakes are ready. If you can't find candy eyes, you can break mini marshmallows in half and dot them with a black edible marker pen. And instead of breaking the tiny parts of um, the Oreos off for the fangs like I did, <laughs> it's a lot of work, um, you can use heart-shaped sprinkles for the fangs. So here are your directions. We have our prep and cook time at about one and a half hours and it yields 12 cupcakes. So first we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to put our cupcake liners in their tins. Prepare the cake mix according to the box, of course. Pour the cake mix in the cupcake liners once you got that mix all mixed up. <laughs> we're going to put that in the oven for anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. While those cupcakes are in the oven, you don't just get to sit, um, you have to do work here as well. So you get your Oreos ready by breaking them in half for the wings and breaking corners off for the fangs. Then you're going to mix red and blue food coloring into the icing. Take cupcakes out of the oven, remove from tin and let cool for about 10 minutes. Put your icing in the piping bag. Once the cupcakes are adequately cooled, pipe icing onto the cupcake, decorate with your Oreo wings and fangs and your candy eyes. And it's a little cut off here, but it says enjoy for the last step. Here are my results. So as you can see, they don't 
<laughs> look as tall as the image I was going for here, and they got slightly bigger eyes. I showed them to quite a few people uh, since I was so enamored with them, and they told me they look sort of like puppies. So, you know, bats are really just puppies of the sky, so I guess that works out. But I would say that I nailed it. Thank you so much for coming with me on this process. And here are my citations for websites I used for my research for this recipe. Thanks.